Yeah, welcome back once again to another interesting question. Today we have this question here which says this angle ACB is the vertex angle of this isosceles triangle here. So that means these two angles are the base angles of the triangle and hence equal. Here this line BS is a diameter of this circle here. Find the area of this triangle ABQ if the circumference of the circle is 22 centimeters. So how can we find the area of triangle ABQ now? To find the area of a triangle, we need the length of its sides. Though we don't have any, but from the data here, we can find the length of its sides. Since line BS is a diameter of the circle, and we have the circumference of the circle to be 22 centimeters. We know that the general formula for the circumference of a circle is pi d. So we can equate pi d to 22 centimeters to find the diameter. So now pi d equal to 22. Pi is 22 over 7 and d is diameter. So 22 over 7d equal to 22. Making only d the subject of the formula, we divide both sides by 22 over 7. So now d equal to 22 divided by 22 over 7, which is the same as 22 times 7 over 22. So here 22 cancels 22. Now we're left with 7. So diameter now equal to 7 centimeters. And that means this line BS is 7 centimeters in length because it's a diameter of the cycle. Now if we draw another line from this point A here to this point S, we have another triangle now, ABS, with line BS as one of its sides. So from triangle ABS now, since we have the length of this side here, we can find the length of this line AB here, which is one of the sides of this triangle ABQ as well. But we need the size of its angles, which we don't have, or we can find them. So from this triangle ABC here, we already noted that this angle and this angle are equal because they are the base angle of the triangle. And this is 3.5x, so therefore this must also be 3.5x. Here we have 2x, so we can form an equation that 3.5x plus 3.5x plus 2x equal to 180 degree because the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree. 3.5x plus 3.5x is 7x. 7x plus 2x is 9x. So 9x equal to 180 degree. 9 to find x, we divide both sides by 9. So 9x over 9 equal to 180 degree over 9. Here 9 cancels 9. And here 180 degree divided by 9 is 20 degree. So x equal to 20 degree. Substituting x equal to 20 degree here. 2x equal to 2 times 20 degree which is 40 degree. Here. 3.5x is 3.5 times 20 degree, which is 70 degree. And this, since this is 70 degree, this must also be 70 degree. And if this whole angle is 70 degree, and this part is 36 degree, this must be 70 degree minus 36 degree, which is 34 degree. So now, from triangle ABS, we have this angle and this angle. But we still need this angle. If you look here, since line BS is a diameter of the circle, this angle here is an angle subtended by a semicircle to the circumference. And we know that any angle subtended by a semicircle to the circumference is a right angle. And therefore, this is a right angle. So since this is 70 degree, this must be 90 degree minus 70 degree, which is 20 degree. Now from this right angle to triangle, since we have the length of this side here, 
we can use the slope calculator to find the length of this side here. So from this angle, this is the hypotenuse because it's facing the right angle and this is the adjacent. So here, CAH is cos theta equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Theta is 34 degree. Hypotenuse is 7 centimeters. And adjacent is line AB. So cos 34 degree equal to line AB over 7. Making line AB the subject, line AB now equal to cos 34 degree times 7, which is approximately 5.8. So line AB now is approximately equal to 5.8 centimeters. I believe from triangle ABQ now we can find the length of the other two sides because we have the length of this side here, AB. If we are to use the sine rule now to find the length of the other two sides, we still need the size of this angle here. So since this is 70 degree and this is 34 degree, this must be 180 degree minus 70 degree minus 34 degree because the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree. 180 degree minus 70 degree minus 34 degree is 76. So this angle here is 76 degree. Now using the sine rule, you can substitute. 5.8 over sine 76 degree is equal to line AQ over sine 34 degree equal to line BQ over sine 70 degree. Taking only this part here, 5.8 over sine 76 degree is equal to line AQ over sine 34 degree. If we make line AQ the subject, line AQ equal to 5.8 over sine 76 degree times sine 34 degree. 5.8 over sine 76 degree times sine 34 is 3.33 approximately. So line AQ equal to 3.33. We found the length of line AQ to approximately be equal to 3.33 centimeters. Now taking this part here, line AQ over sine 34 degree equal to line BQ over sine 70 degree. Since line AQ is 3.33, now 3.33 over sine 34 degree equal to line BQ over sine 70 degree. Making line BQ the subject, line BQ equal to 3.33 over sine 34, all multiplied by sine 70 degree, which if you press your calculator is approximately equal to 5.6. So we'll find line BQ to approximately be equal to 5.6 centimeters. Now we have the length of all the three sides of triangle ABQ. To find its area now, we can use the Heron's formula. If the length of the three sides of a triangle are A, B, and C, area is equal to square root of S open bracket, S minus A open bracket, S minus B open bracket, S minus C where S is equal to A plus B plus C over 2. Here we can let this equal to A, this B, and this C. So substituting here now, S equal to 5.8 plus 3.33 plus 5.6 all over 2, which if you press your calculator equal to 7.365. So S equal to 7.365. If we substitute the values here now, area equal to square root of 7.365 open bracket 7.365 minus 5.8 open bracket 7.365 minus 3.33 open bracket 7.365 minus 5.6 which is approximately equal to 9.0602. So we'll find the surface area of triangle ABQ to approximately be equal to 9.0602 centimeters squared.